Hey gents, today we are going to talk about garment bags with a specific focus around packing suits. As a frequent traveler, I became enamored with some of the best travel gear, and I would lust after Tumi and Ramoa luggage because not only are they beautiful, they're well designed, they're also pricey, and so I started to search around for the best way to pack my stuff. Since I frequently travel with suits, I almost ended up with a sky roll, but ended up with this Alat 56 bag, which you've seen on the channel before. We'll talk about this. And then I really became enamored with some of these garment bag weekender style bags like you've seen on this channel, Stitch Golf. And so I put out a call to you guys. I said, what sort of bags do you want to see on the channel? You guys answer with some great brands. And so we're going over a ton of bags today, but I want to give you an idea of what is out there, who these bags are for, and which one you should have in your closet. Because if you travel uh, with any sort of regularity, it's good to have one of these bags, but especially if you travel with suits, you should have one of these bags out here, and we're gonna go across the whole range from styles, sizes, and prices today. So stick with me. I will put links to the brands in the description. I'll also put timestamps if you wanna jump to a specific brand or a specific category as I go through these, because this video is probably going to be pretty long. So we'll talk about some of the traditional luggage brands. We'll talk about the new stuff that is being done in the direct to consumer spaces, some really interesting bags, and then some of the designs and the styles of bags that you may look for in this space. So as always, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll also put a link to my website below where I'll put additional dimensions for some of the bags because I will get into how big some of the bags are for suit sizes. Some of them will accommodate 46, 48, and 50 are suit sizes, and so you wanna make sure you're aware of that as you start to shop for these bags. And as always, I love to hear down in the comments what you think about the video because uh, you know, I only know as much as what I have here, but I'd love to know about additional brands, additional styles, and the successes you've had around packing for that sort of stuff. So start that comment conversation below. I'll be down there to talk about with you. And so let's start off first with the traditional companies, which is Samsonite, Toomey, Travel Pro, and Briggs and & Riley, and those offerings. And then we'll get into some of these weekender style bags. And like I said, timestamps will be in the description if you wanna jump around. So the start to this video was that when I first started traveling, and I needed suits. I needed like a smaller bag and I wanted to pack my suits and I found out about the Sky Roll. It's this bag that rolls your suit around and it doesn't do any wrinkles, but then it also allows you to store different things. But I couldn't buy that bag at the time. It was back ordered for months. So I went on to some travel forums and I found the La 56 bag, which was quite a bit more pricey, but I'm so glad I ended up with this several years ago because this is what sparked my love for high quality travel gear. Because when you travel with like cheaper luggage, you don't end up finding the great things about the craftsmanship of these bags. And that's why I started to really enjoy Tumi as well. I received a Tumi backpack and that also changed my perspective on buying quality goods. So let's talk about these traditional companies. If you look at what most flight attendants and pilots and crew members use when they come out of the plane or they're walking around the airport, look at the bags. They're mostly using Travel Pro bags. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Not only are they specifically catered to building for this very rigorous use cases, they have a wide range of styles that are very compact and very small, but they also have an excellent warranty for wear and tear, which if you're doing hundreds of flights a month like you are in the crew, you need to have that resilience built into your bag. And so Travel Pro, you'll see it everywhere now that once you kind of recognize that logo, and they have a few different options within their offerings. So they have the Platinum Elite Trifold, the Max Light Bifold Hanging, the Crew Series, and then the Max Light 5 Carry On Rolling Garment. So these range from $99 to $349. They're all built with their polyester fabric with DuraGuard built in there. They're built in China. And then you can choose between if you want a trifold or a bifold style. And I'll mention this as I talk about each of the bags, the maximum size that will fit into the bags for suiting. So 50R is the biggest pretty much across this entire roundup. And that is going to fit into the Crew Series. And at $349, this is meant to be like like a big wardrobe carrier. It's not meant to be for smaller, quick trips. But if you look at something like the Platinum Elite Trifold, that's where you're going to get two to three suits within the bag. It folds up really nice and compact. And when we talk about this style of bag, these are perfect for 
overnight two to three day trips where you can get two to three suits in there plus some additional items. And the biggest thing with this is when you travel with it, no matter what, even those really small roller boards, I have one of those. If you get onto those regional jets that have like the luggage sizes that are like compartments that are this big, you can't get roller boards into there and you plane tight check. But with these types of bags, and that's why I love this bag so much, this fits into nearly any overhead compartment in any flight that I've ever been on. And so when you get into something like this tri-fold from Travel Pro, the Platinum Elite, that's where you get that benefit. Now, Travel Pro's prices, when you compare them to Briggs and Riley and Toomey, are really good. Their fabric isn't quite as nice as those other brands, and also their design leaves a little bit to be desired. You can especially see that with this brown style on the Platinum Elite. It just looks odd or okay, but you get the functionality of folding it up. When we go through each of these different styles, though, you're talking about folding and not rolling which is a big difference, which is when we get into the garment bags a little bit later on, then you have this rolling technique which really avoids creases and wrinkles, and so just be aware of that as you start to look at these bags. Samsonite doesn't have a lot of offerings in the garment bag space. They do have two roller bags. One is a two-wheel, one is a four-wheel. So they have the Silhouette 15 Duet and the Leverage LTE for $440 and $360 respectively. I'm sure they're well-built, I'm sure they're okay. I'm not really impressed with either of these bags. I think if you, are traveling frequently, the four-wheel bag is the no-brainer. Once you switch to four-wheel bags, there's really no going back to two, and so if you're looking between the two, that's a really easy decision point. It seems like Samsonite's really carving out their niches because they did acquire Tumi, so they're looking at Tumi as their premium brand. Samsonite is gonna be like the mass size thing, so let's talk a little bit about Tumi's offerings. So Tumi has five different garment bags, which range from $295, which I have here, which is the garment cover, up to $970, $75, which is the four-wheeled extended trip garment bag. Tumi has incredible design and also incredible fabric. So I'll show you their really cool hanger, but also I have one of their backpacks, which is this FXT ballistic nylon, which is so strong and durable, there's a reason that they charge their premiums for it. So all of Tumi stuff is made in China. They have some tri-fold, they have some bi-fold styles in there. And the models that hold the bigger suits, so if you're looking at like 52R+, plus is going to be the four-wheeled extended trip garment bag. The garment cover goes pretty big. And then you're also looking at the classic garment bag, which will hold a 50R. The other styles that we're gonna talk about, the tri-fold carry-on and the four-wheeled garment bag holds a 46R. And what is nice about Tumi is all their stuff is available in different colors. And so if you wanna get like different matching, they have accent colors, but they're all pretty like subtle and very nice. And the main bag that I have here to show you some of this functionality is the classic garment bag. So this thing is like huge and it has tons of pockets. It's made to be this big bifold system and it's also made to hold like I very comfortably fit six suits into this. Now Tumi also sells a specifically designed hanger system which you can buy separately for this bag which I think you can get seven maybe eight suits in here. At that point it comes very unwieldy, very heavy and so it's up to you if you want to go with the roller style. Most of their Tumi bags have the two wheel versus the four wheel. But between the classic garment bag and this garment cover, you get the idea which is you put your suits in, you fold it up, you wrap it up, and it keeps everything very tight and protected. Obviously this big classic garment bag is not going to be something you use a carry on, but that's why they have their little tri-fold which is at 495, holds 46R suits. But keep in mind what made Tumi really legendary was not only their design and their materials, but they also had a lifetime warranty. Since Samsonite purchased them, they've now moved that to a five-year warranty. So Travel Pro, really well known for having a bulletproof warranty and excellent products but Tumi is now reducing that over time. So let's then talk about a great alternative, which are Briggs and Riley bags. Briggs and Riley also offers five different bags for garment bags. They have the domestic carry-on, upright, the wardrobe spinner, which is at 825, the wheeled wardrobe, which is 789, the suitor duffel at 329, and then the compact garment bag at 395. So here you get the whole range of things. You get a two wheel, a four wheel spinner, you get a roller or a compact bag, and then a tri-fold. And the big thing with Briggs & Riley is they have a lifetime warranty and they are one of the most beloved brands I find in some of these travel forums so for brands that make excellent stuff. And it's not quite at Tumi prices, they are a little 
little bit higher, but you're paying, you're getting what you pay for in that regard. So the Suter Duffel is one of the most interesting designs in here for me at 329. It takes that design of rolling the suit underneath all the items and putting it inside. And so it's using the Briggs and Riley materials with this construction. And this is one of the most interesting ones to me across this whole board. They offer it in black and green. And like most of the rollers that you'll see in this video, they hold a 46R suit. At a similar size and a nearly similar style, you have the compact garment bag, which is actually a tri-fold, and you don't get as much storage within this one. So for example, you can fold your suit into there, but you don't always have extra room for shoes and extra clothing like you do in the garment bag style, which is why I like that bag so much. And so Briggs & Riley has some excellent options. Their prices are slightly higher, but the build quality is near to me levels. And then from there, let's start to get into some of the rolling the garment weekender bags because uh, what I really like about the garment bags, and you can see this in the Tumi one, some of them are just kind of ugly, but these like weekender duffels take this to a whole new level. So it was really interesting when I asked for brands, I heard Blue Claw, I heard this Hangaroo, Senzo, which is, you guys, great recommendation on that one. And then I heard Away. So I have a few standard garment bags, which are just like, like bifold hangups, and I'll talk about those a little bit. But I'm really interested in is this size more, the Lat 56, the Red Eye Garment Bag, and these Weekender style duffels. And this is where I think there's some really exciting stuff happening. So this is the Stitch Golf UGB. I did a whole video on this and I can link to that below. But this bag at 278 is probably one of the best values that you can get in this space. It is an incredibly durable waterproof material. The zipper style is unique from the other bags in that it is essentially just one big zipper all the way up and around and it is waterproof. I've traveled with this bag many times. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. I usually do like two suits, some shoes, and then some stuff in the middle, as you can see in the packing demonstration. But at 278, this bag packs a killer punch. Excellent construction, excellent material, and you can see like these carbon fiber details here. If you wanna see the whole video on it, go ahead and link below. And then on the flip side of that, we'll also look at this Biagi. This is the Hangaroo. This comes in at $69, and this is probably one of the main bags that I would recommend against looking at this one. You get the design of the Weekender garment duffel. So you, you get all the functionality of putting your suit in, rolling it, around all the stuff inside, and then you can put your extra gear on the inside. The problem with this, and you can, it's, it's why it's a $69 bag, is that they've taken all of the aspects that are great about the UGB or the Senzo that we'll talk about, and they've made it a super cheap nylon. The construction quality is like, it's, it's just lower. All of the material, like the zippers are plastic. Uh, this nylon doesn't feel great. And so I think if you wanted to test out the concept of this bag, if you wanted to see if you like this at all, I don't think you'll even get to enjoy the aspects of it because it's like kind of flim, like I got a suit in here right now. It's like kind of flimsy on the bottom. Uh, and so, you know, at $69, I just think, Go to the next level if you're going to be using this bag for the long term, you want something that's going to last. This does not feel like it would last after several flights or after many different trips. So you want something that's going to be built to last and I don't think the Hangaroo is quite there, but you know, it's $69, that's why it's there. And let's flip back to the complete inverse of that bag here. This is probably one of the greatest discoveries and recommendations on my entire channel. This is the Senzo Weekender bag which is built, you can see the packing method, which it wraps the suit around in the back. It is an Italian calfskin leather bag, handmade in Italy for $299, which is insane. This bag is bigger than a briefcase. It is a lower cost. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. It has the smell and this richness to it and the construction, you can tell that it's handmade because there's some like slight imperfections within the bag. And you can also see that, um, Whoever the designer is that picked this interior like really loves the 70s uh, as you go in here. And this is like the first spot where it's like, uh, it's really tough to choose between this one and the UGB. The, the UGB bag is like durable as heck and it is not very stylish, but it looks very good. This bag is like, you travel with this, you are gonna be turning some heads. And so this bag is constructed beautifully. It is an incredible value at $299 for all this casking leather. There's shoes that have less leather that are more expensive than this. Uh, incredible hardware, very sturdy construction just all around. They also have this unique clasp 
on the buttons over here. And so I think if you're looking in this category and you want like a leather bag of this style, this Senzo bag is incredible. So I'll link to, f it's the company that I guess imports them is Flodo uh, or there's, there's Flodo and then Senzo, uh, but I'll link to them below. And so thank you guys for recommending this. I picked one of these up and it is absolutely gorgeous. One of the best looking bags in my collection. And uh, if I could send the smell through YouTube, I would send it right to you. I think the only downside of the Senzo is that calfskin leather is so soft and so rich that it doesn't really hold its form very well, which is why I like the top grain, like pebbled leather that's used on the Hook and Albert, because the Hook and Albert one just feels like a rock solid bag. The Senzo one feels a little bit more flimsy. So keeping on the Weekender style bag, I won't spend a lot of time on Hook and Albert. You can watch my dedicated video on it. I still, everything I said in that video still totally applies. The hardware is second to none. The construction is absolutely incredible. The leather on this is like a pebbled top grain leather and you can, f it's, it's constructed and built better than the Senzo. The Senzo just has this unique richness to the leather. Uh, but this bag, if I were to put the two next to each other, there's a reason that this bag is $5.95. They also offer a wax canvas version of this at a much lower price. And so I'll link to Hook and Albert below. I think these bags are incredibly well constructed and they use great materials. The Senzo one is just kind of like a, it's like an indie band. And then the Hook and Albert is, I feel like it's more of like a luxury uh, or fashion brand. And so I love this bag. I think it is, I think still at $5.95, this is a lifetime type bag. Uh, the Senzo one just has a very unique position to it. I think one of the best ways to go is if you want the construction quality of the Hook and Albert one, go for the wax twill one, which is slightly lower priced if you don't need to go for the, the entire leather shebang. And so that's Hook and Albert. I'll link to the video below if you wanna see more on this bag. And a big thing with the Senzo, the Stitch Golf, the Hook and Albert, all of these bags fold up extremely small for storage, so they f they go from being this like duffel sized thing, but then they collapse into themselves, as you can see in some of the video, where it just goes to like this two or three inch thick bag, so it's really easy to store these. And now we have these just like single, simple garment bags here. So I've got Blue Claw, Toomey, Away, and then this one that I wanna start with talking about is Satchel and Page. So this bag comes from one of my favorite leather goods, uh, leather companies, which is Satchel and Page. I actually traveled with this bag to LA for a week, and I can attest that you could pack a ton of stuff into here. And this is a lot like the Senzo bag. So this is a Italian made, Italian leather uh, with waxed canvas on here bag, and super high quality construction, and that's why you're seeing it at that $500 plus price point. And I can attest that you can stuff, you can really stuff some clothes into here. These two giant bags right here can fit some shoes. These pockets right here fit a lot of things. I was able to fit three suits into this bag. It does become a little bit unwieldy as you know, you're know you trying to drag it through the airport, but then I was just checking this bag and so you can see I just checked it right here. And this is a bag that just gains character over time lifetime warranty, extremely well built, and I'll link, Carl uh, Morawski did a video where he talks about this bag in detail, and I can basically second everything he says. Uh, he gets a lot more detail into it. And so Satchel and Page, check them out. They, had a great, they have great collections, and so then we'll move on to the other kind of smaller, simpler bags. I think first to set the stage, let's start with the Toomey bag, because this is kind of the uh, industry standard here. And this is when we talked about the ballistic nylon, you can feel it throughout this entire bag. And what I really like, and, and I'll show you a few shots of this, is this very innovative handle. So this is how you get the suit into the bag. You fold the bag up and then you pull the handle through, but then the handle, once you open the bag up, turns into a hook so you can hook either the bag or the clothing that's within the bag onto, I don't know, a hotel door or hang it up in the shower. And I know you can buy these hooks separately. I would actually put this in some of the other like garment bags that are within here. So this is just a really cool hook. But I think for $295, this bag, you can beat it. So if you could get this hook and then uh, put it into one of these other bags, then that's probably the way I'd go. And the way that I would go would be to Blue Claw. And I'll just give a quick mention, this is the Away one. I think these are $195 or about there. And they're like nice, but they're not nearly as nice as this Blue Claw one, which accomplishes 
nearly the same goal, except the Blue Claw one has better ballistic nylon as part of the construction, and it's made in the USA versus the Away one. So the Away one is okay. Uh, I'll probably use it a few times, but this kind of simple fold-up bag right here, it's got a big pocket right in the front so you can store things, and it has the design where you can just open this up, throw something in here. You can probably fit three suits in here generously, depending on the bag. And this is one that should fit at least a 48, if not a 50R suit. I also, just as an anecdote, I have a blue claw like dop kit where I use for my toiletries when I'm traveling. I absolutely love that bag. It's a great wax canvas. And so Blue Claw is a super interesting company and I like to keep my eye on them as they continue to put out new products. And I'd say last but not least, one of my favorite bags in this entire video is the Red Eye Garment Bag. It's not just because I have traveled hundreds of thousands of miles with it and been through uh, thick and thin, but it is incredibly well constructed. These come in just under $400. It, the material that's used on this, they have said, you know, they ran it over with a Range Rover and it barely has a scratch, but it is extremely resistant to scratching, denting, and then the zipper here, you can see it's pretty substantial. It's actually waterproof, and so it'll resist, you know, all heavy rain and things. They say it'll basically survive anything except for being submerged. And one of the biggest features of this bag is the suit packing system, this red hanger and bag packing system. I've actually ended up using this more, maybe twice as many times as the red eye bag itself, just because it is such a great way of packing the suits. I end up using it with other carry-ons or I end up using it in larger suitcases in order to pack the suits. And so you can buy the hanger separately. And so if you wanted to get that experience with other carry-ons, you absolutely can, but it's just a big part of this bag itself. And then this bottom part becomes additional storage for my shoes, my underwear, t-shirts, all that extra stuff in here. I've fit five to six days of suits and clothing into this bag, but it's absolutely perfect for like overnight two to three day trips. And like I had said, uh, this bag never gets checked because it fits in every single over compartment. There was even a trip I'll never forget where I was I had a layover and then um, there was no overhead bin space and I actually slid it underneath the seat in front of me. It's, it was so small and compact because I'm always trying to avoid uh, having my bag taken from me or, or end up being checked. And so the Red Eye Garment Bag has the same functionality as the Sky Roll. It is built with better materials and, and it is a superior design for the way that you pack suits and you can fit more items into the bag. And so I did a whole video on this one too. Uh, if you, I'll link to that one below. And then Laugh 56 makes some other like roller bags, uh, but they aren't always in stock and it's kind of hit or miss on what you can get there. And so Laugh 56, after you know, traveling and experiencing all of these different bags, this is still the one that I considered like the real road warrior suit packing overnight type of bag, even more than like the Briggs and Riley stuff or anything that Toomey really has. And so Lac 56, uh, you can check them out. And as always with this video, there's no sponsors or, you know, all of this stuff is, it's all my own thoughts. I'm not bound by anything there. And so if you have any questions, comments, love to hear from you guys down below. I'm heading out on another trip now and I'm actually gonna be taking a lot of this stuff uh, to essentially verify a lot of this, but I continuously travel throughout the year. I'm always trying to find the best travel gear. So brands, products, anything else, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, it's enough rambling. I gotta go, uh, I gotta go pack for my next trip. So until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.